All right, so it's five o'clock. Happy uh, Thursday. Good afternoon. Um, we're going to standard discussion. We'll, we'll get out some talking points and we'll answer some questions. Um, so off the jump, I, I kind of want to set a Well, actually, I don't want to set a tone for this. I just want to get a fact out of the way and then move on. Um, we really need to tighten up our game a little bit. I am not in the interest of chasing ghosts. If I get a random email that some airman isn't wearing a mask, I'm not going to do anything. I'll go find that thing. It's not important. It's not, it's not really a thing. But when we get reports that the after party is in building 3139 on a Saturday night, and then we go and we look at the videotapes, and there's probably something going on in 3139 at 1 in the morning, um, it's going to leave me a place where I have to actually find out who those people are, get their faces, and take actions. It's not going to be good for anybody. So we need to, and this isn't about getting the gate open or being whatever or earning privileges. This is about adhering to the very basic rules. No matter what the rules were, there's never been a time where we can have a party in the dorms at 0100. So I'm going to ask you this week to get that cleaned up. Let's not have that problem again so we don't have to, uh, so we don't have to actually find the problem, if that makes sense. Senior. Yeah, so um, you're probably asking, hey, where's all this coming from? So I would say yesterday, um, I sat with the MTLs and just randomly said, hey, show me some video, you know, of the day room, you know, in the dorms. Um, won't necessarily get into any of the actual behavior that I, that I witnessed. Um, I would just say that some of it was borderline inappropriate. Uh, so I'll just leave it at that. So if, if you didn't know, understand that there are cameras in the dorms, obviously not in the actual rooms themselves, but they're in the common spaces. So they're in the halls, they're in the day room, they're in the stairwell. So understand that, you know, and we can go back as far as we need to, to capture whatever it is we, we, we want to see. So just be mindful of that. And that's not necessarily a threat, but more of a watch what you're doing and making sure that you're doing the right thing. Because any type of gesture, whatever can be misconstrued um, as being inappropriate, and all of a sudden you may find yourself in an, in an investigation somewhere you don't want to be. So if you ever have to question it, don't do it. Just, just stay away from it. And, and my biggest concern is uh, there are all the reports of underage drinking in the dorms. We've got to make sure. So when I get those reports, I assume no, that's not a thing because I know everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Then we go and look at the videos and, eh, you know, I could see where that might be true. Right. So let's just kind of knock it off, right? And we, we've got to just, again, I, I, I'm, I know this is getting tiresome. I know we're three months into this. Yeah. Things have been phenomenal. Largely, everybody's doing what they need to do. Let's just make sure we keep it tight around the edges um, and, and, and we get where we need to get to on this. Um, so hopefully that, that's it for that. Um, on the flip side, uh, everything as far as big picture seems to be going the way it's supposed to. Uh, we're still graduating students. People are moving at pace. Uh, not a lot of issues. Very few people in my office uh, having issues. So that's good. Uh, I think we're doing a good job there. Um, and uh, and I do appreciate that. Uh, for things that are uh, they're going to happen this weekend, I, I know there's going to be some food trucks. I'm not, I don't have the specifics yet. Um, the outdoor rec center is available to rent things. Uh, it'll, it'll be a lot of the same things that were available last week, plus, um, plus things like food truck. Uh, when I get the actual pamphlet, which I expect to get tomorrow, we will publish that out everywhere that we can. For now, sir. Uh, I do know, um, and many of you have probably seen uh, the memos, that for permanent party, they've extended the, the distance that they can travel to about 300 miles. Um, not great for you in the immediate. It doesn't really do anything um, to make your life better, besides maybe make your instructors a, a little bit happier, I guess. Um, but big picture, when you start thinking about those two-week thing I keep talking about, right? We're 14 days behind. The next decision on the decision tree is get the gate open and let the students get into some local, um, at least some, some, some local things off base. So that is, no kidding, the next decision point that we are at. So, which goes back to that first thing I said, let, let's, let's keep it tight. And I'm not telling you the gate's going to get open next weekend. I don't know. I have no idea where the decision tree is on that, but I do know that logically that is, one, that is the next decision point. So just, just let's, uh, let's have a great weekend and, uh, and make sure we get those opportunities. Okay. Uh, this kind of one thing to ask, I've kind of heard it quite a bit, is, um, you know, I, I kind of heard Airman say, you know, um, 
having to earn the privileges back. Like, hey, what more do we have to do to earn the ability to go off base? Um, I would say, you know, if you think about it, what led to this is it's not connected. So it, this, so it wasn't that the gate was locked down because Airmen did something. This was strictly because of a, a health pandemic. So changes in the health pandemic is what's going to allow you to go off base. So it isn't like, hey, we got to earn this or we got to do this. No, you guys just got to continue to, to continue to do what you've been doing and allow the um, medical side of this to, to, to flush itself out. Um, and so um, I'm going to I'm going to quote a, a very uh, smart NCO or senior CEO here. But here's the thing. So the reason why we're, we're kind of um, keeping you guys close tabs on this is because whether you know it or not, you guys as Intel professionals are considered mission essential. That means that we have to maintain this pipeline of Intel professionals in order to maintain our Intel uh, capacity out in the field. We can't jeopardize your health as, 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 as tough as it may seem to hear the job that you have to do for the air force, for your nation is more important than being able to go to Waterburger or to go out to the lake. I get it. You know, it's, 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 it's direct, but it's also true. And what I want you guys to take from that is the fact that, Hey, I'm mission essential. The government is trying to protect my health, my well-being, to make sure that I can get from here to there. They don't want to compromise. They don't want to jeopardize too soon by sending you out there to the, to the, to the public. And all of a sudden now, our intel capacity has been degraded because half our force has now caught COVID. We can't risk that. So that's the risk. That, so what you see is our leadership not wanting to take that type of risk with exposing you until we feel there is a environment that's conducive for you guys to be out there and be fine so yeah so that's the thing and it, so at the ground level a simple thought because I'm, I'm not gonna try to get all uh philosophical on this what you should probably try to do as an individual is make sure that when that gate does open and it will open you are of a phase status that you can then go out yeah so keep uh keep your stuff in stock let's get where we need to be and uh and, and it's gonna be fine the gate's gonna eventually open all right, PT question. There we go. God, this is like, it's like we save up all the things for one week, right? Last yeah. week was all jovial and joking yeah. and, and Sergeant Pratt bringing you guys uh, Chick-fil-A and all that greatness. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to talk about PT. Uh, so, yeah, I know this is not going to be popular. Um, and, and, you know, this is sometimes where, where I'm thankful that command is in a popularity contest. Uh, and this is one of them. So uh, PT is the thing. PT is an Air Force thing. Uh, PT is the thing we're not doing good enough. Uh, and, I, and I personally take responsibility for that. Is a, it is a commander's program, and even if it wasn't, it would be important to me. Uh, I am not doing the Air Force any good if I'm sending people out that are going to be out in a year for failing PT tests. We will not do that. So uh, I would like to think that PT is important to everybody, and they're going to do it on their own, no, no issues. But if that were true, we wouldn't have to have a program and a test. Uh, and, and so we're going to offer the opportunity... Uh, for you to be good at PT through PT sessions. Uh, and we're going to validate that through some uh, some testing monthly. Uh, the way this is going to work, and you'll see this in writing tomorrow, uh, there's basically going to be three statuses. You're going to be on our fitness improvement program. If you either do not or have not made the second Air Force standard or are currently failing or currently fail an Air Force standard uh, PT appraisal, minus the waste. So that's it. If you are no status, you're going to be in a fitness improvement program. You're going to PT five days a week, and it will affect your phase status. If you meet the second Air Force standards, you only have to do that once. You've met the second Air Force standards. You are good the rest of your life, and you are passing your PT appraisals. I will never mess with you with, about PT tests. You'll PT with your flight three times a week, and that can be however the flights want to run it. I don't care as long as it's working and you're passing your appraisals. If you get above a 90 or above a 70, because we're taking away the 20 points of, uh, of waste, so without counting your waste, if you add up all your scores, so your run, your push-up, your sit-ups, you get above 70 points, you will only have to PT in a format or in a group once a week. That's it. You maintain that status, you are good to go. I'm not going to mess with you. So to recap, you're not making a standard, be it the second Air Force or the I'm not passing the actual Air Force standard. 
I'm going to mess with you. You're going to PT five times a week, and two of those are not going to be fun. They're going to be at zero five. Um, you meet the standard, you keep the standard three times a week with your flight as it's convenient for course. You ball out of control, you PT once a week. Done. Yep. So um, just to be clear, so so when so when the commander is saying the, the only standard that we're talking about that's a one and done is going to be the, the second air force standards. Everybody will do a monthly appraisal. That monthly appraisal will dictate your phase, whether you stay in a phase, go up in a phase, or even go down in the phase. So no matter what, you know, so even if you're over a 90, you are still each month required to revalidate your fitness level. And basically that's where you're earning your ability to stay in phase. So you can be in phase three, one, if you hook a, a, a PT appraisal, you will go back down to phase one until you're back above the appropriate uh, fitness level. And then I can handle the one about the, the waivers. The waivers. Yeah. yeah. That one, if you want to handle the next one. Yeah, yeah. All right. So if you are on a waiver, um, well, you're not going to get above 70 points. So you will be PTing three times a week. Um, but you'll get credit for that waiver. So I'm not, so not going to throw you back in fit because of that. Uh, but if you're on a waiver, you'll be there three times a week. With the intent is as soon as you get off the waiver, we want you to be able to get an excellent. The goal of this entire process, uh, and, and my objective for this thing is to have zero people on FIP, right? And almost everybody PTing once a week. Because yep. that's when we're good, man. We don't have to worry about it. If you And it's the way the Air Force is structured, right? If you get above a 90, you PT once a year, you take your test, and you're good to go. Nobody messes with you. And I would like for every one of us to have that opportunity in the squadron. So when you leave here, you never worry about PT because you're just you're good to go. Yep. So, so the question was, so working outside at the overhang would not count as the once a week. Yes. So that once a week is going to be in that organized PT session. So when your when your class, when they get together, you won't have to do it one time. And then everybody else that's below, um, you know, the standard, then they will do the three times with their classmates. But yeah, but for those that are, are, are above um, in the in the endurance uh, part of our, our, our table, they will be the ones that will just do it once collectively with their classmates, and then the other times will be on their own. And as far as the, um, does this apply to those who do the PT with their classes three times a week? Um, these are these are melded together, yeah. right? So working backwards, if you're above a 70 or, or 90 with, with weights measurement, let's say, um, you're once a week with your with your class. If you are passing, you are three times a week with your class. If you are not passing in the fitness improvement program for whatever reason, you are three times a week with your flight and twice a week with the FIP team. Uh, let's see. No, you will not be phased back if you're on a profile. No, I'm not going to punish you for being on a profile. No. And, and, and we're going to have this postered everywhere. Yeah. We're going to get the data out to you. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. This was an intentional build from about three weeks ago, right? Yeah. Because second Air Force came down and said, boom, here's the standard. Um, which is good, and I'm, I'm glad they did. Uh, but we're also trying to be rational in the fact that we need to have a program that gives you an opportunity to meet that standard before we hold you to that standard. So we're not going to give anybody a PT appraisal. I'm not going to start throwing out FIP stuff until after we do a PT appraisal at the end of this month. Yeah. So you should have had a month of PTing with folks. You should have personal responsibility before that, so you were at least striking distance of passing. You're going to be good to go. We're going to roll up on this. Everybody's going to pass for the most part. Uh, we're going to get our folks that we get in from basic training that aren't quite at that second Air Force standard, uh, most of them one or two push-ups off. We're going to knock out some push-ups, get them good to go, and then we're all going to be hanging out and having fun three days a week as a flight, except for those people that are super awesome and just do it once, whatever. No, so so basically if you meet the standard, so obviously so you come here, you've already met the second Air Force standard, you're good. The only way you, are, the only way you get phased back is if you fall below uh, passing. So if you're thinking about the 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 PT uh, score chart, think of that as, hey, I got below a 75. Okay, that is where, hey, you would get phased back. It's because, hey, I got below a 75. So really, so if you get below a 55, so we're moving, you know, the waste component of that. If you get below a 55, once we add up your scores, then yes, you will get phased back. So the question about how is my, my class done an appraisal, got above a 90, you're good to go, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing with anybody until the end of this month anyways. Right. Exactly. So whatever the current guidelines are with you and your flight and your class, cool, man. You're gonna, 
since you got a 90 before, you're probably going to knock it out at the end of this month. Yeah. You're good, man. And then you're just going to recertify each month. Yep. Um, and that's how we know this works. So, so your your burden is going to be three in an average month. It's going to be three sessions, one mock, and you're you're cool. Um, it, it should be fine. Um, but again, I, I I know we're getting lost in the sauce here, right? But big picture, this is going to be published. And for those that are asking about breaking service, yeah, it's a squadron PT policy, and it's going to apply to everybody. Um, if you're yeah, so if you're here, you're gonna you're gonna adhere to this PT standard uh, because it's the squadron PT standard, and you're in the squadron. Uh, but Excellent, once a week. Passing, three times a week. Failing, five times a week. If you just think of it like that, you're good, man. Yeah. Um, and, and don't worry about failing, because we're not going to fail. We're going to have a program, knock this out. It's not rocket. This is way easier than the stuff you do in class. Mm -hmm. Do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, run a little bit. We're good. And, and, and please understand, this is not... Punitive. My goal, and I've been going to as many of the sessions as I'm as I able to fit in the schedule. Uh, my goal is for everybody to be laugh, smile, good times, because we're all doing a good job with this, and then walk back and in, in, in just as an extension of our life. Because that's how this works. If, if it's us yelling at you and chasing you around a track, that's just dumb. Because then you're going to not get, you're not, you're not getting any, there's no learning occurring. So this is designed just to be just like in the classroom, student led, just like when you come into a hybrid classroom. Mm -hmm. You prep for the test, you dominate the test at the end of the month, I'm not messing with you. It's, it's, it's very, very, in my mind, at least simple. Yeah. Just oh, go run. ROM status. Yeah, you can go run. Yeah. Uh, ROM students, and this is, and, and I apologize, this wasn't part of the, the, the guidance, you can just go for a run. You can go out down the flight line that's right behind uh, the building building. Um, you can run the perimeter if you're so inclined to run that far, and that's just gross. Um, right. Or you can just run. You, you can go run to the track, run some laps. What you're not allowed to do is interact with the main body, right. be it the BX, be it the shop at places like that. Yeah. So, up oh, Forte again. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we pretty much – so now the, the – so you can equate 100 to, to, to 80. Yeah. 80 is the, the max you can get on this thing. So, yeah. Everybody gets a free 20 points for the yeah. waist. I don't want to measure anybody's waist. That's just not fun. And I honestly don't know that the Air Force is going to do that much longer anyway. Exactly. So, and if, if you can dominate the rest of the, the test, whatever, man, we're cool. Yeah. Hopefully that clears that up. We'll see. Oh, and, and by the way, I, and if I sound grouchy on this, I'm absolutely not. I'm, I'm more upset that we have not turned the corner on this and, and gotten better guidance for you. So. Is that Tim? What? It is city. <laughs> oh my god. Ignore her. All right. Um uh let's see. So rumors about Fort Meade. Um yeah. So so there there are some bases right now um that are still collecting data as far as hey for infrastructure. There we go. Hi Teddy. For infrastructure, um you know, can they take in new personnel? So right now each base is tasked with determining whether or not they can allow people to leave or bring people in. Um, so yeah, so right now, uh, Fort Meade is one of those bases. However, we're in a standby mode to determine, Hey, how long do they think they're going to be, um, in that status? So right now, um, no one's losing assignments. No one's being diverted. Um, what we know right now is that just that things are on hold and allowing each base to come up with, you know, where, how long they see themselves before they can open up, you know, and what limitations are, are they going to face? But for you guys, you guys are the priority um, to, to get moving. So, yeah. And, and you're all a grown up. So, I want to be, give you the full disclosure, right? So, if you were to get on, you know, get on your Google machine and look and see what's actually going on with, with some of the uh, the rules and DOD and, and read some of those regs, they are super confusing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that any, I, I don't understand half of them, right? So, yeah. simple, simply put, like if I, we have an instructor that wants to leave here, they need a GO and 206 to sign a piece of paper that lets them leave. Even if they have an assignment and a report no later than date, two weeks from now. Um, and, you know, so we've got cases of people who are supposed to leave as instructors on Friday and aren't going to get to leave. Um, they've got their stuff packed up, their house is sold, and they're going to have to stay in a hotel. Uh, right now, the easiest PCSs are for students, which is why we've been pushing on this so hard, because the window is as wide open as any window in the Air Force. So we're trying to get you guys out, and the best thing that you can do with us, or for us with that, 
is uh is just be ready to go yeah um because we will get you someplace uh and there is a team that is dedicated to keeping this pipeline moving uh because there, there will be disruptions right we we're we're all, you know, you all are critical thinkers. As people interact with this disease and each other, it's there's going to be spikes and valleys and stuff like that. So right now, where it's clear, we need to get moving. Another trip to the lake. I would say, wow. absolutely. Um, I would say, based off of the success of the the last one, that is a possibility. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the boss will echo the same thing. Our intent is that a trip to the lake will have to be put together again because hopefully soon the gate will be open. So, so we, so here's the thing, the, the, what we're doing is we don't necessarily want to engage in conversations such as those, because then it just keeps the discussion going about not opening the gate. We want to keep the conversation going about opening the gate. So we won't necessarily talk about, Hey, lake trips and food trucks and stuff like that, because we're focusing more on, Hey, get the gate open. And you guys can go out to the town and do your own thing. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Yeah, so I'll tell you, the, 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 our trip to the lake, absolutely, man. That, that'll be the floor, right? Yeah. So if we cannot negotiate yeah. or get ourselves in a position in the decision, because it's really not a negotiation. It's just get the decision tree moving and get, yeah. get where we need to go. The actual gate open next week to you all. Um, then, yeah, sure, we'll try to throw together a trip to the lake. Um, but let's, let's, let's aim a little bigger than that, okay? Uh, appraisals on the track. Um, actually, if the flights can, so I, I'd like the flights to run the appraisals, and I know gears here. Yeah, um, perfect. Yeah, man. Well, I would prefer to give you an option to test wherever is best for you. Oh, absolutely. Sports A again. So with Strava, mm -hmm. I already gave that to Sergeant Worthington for action, so he's already looking into that. So, dudes, again, if you are passing, so if you are not in the fitness improvement plan. A program your flight is going to dictate how you do it and it's if it's all the bells and whistles and you're getting your workouts and you're passing the appraisal at the end of the month i honestly don't care if it's 500 times jumping on each foot and that's the magic sauce to get you through it's good the only problem that we're going to have is if you're not meeting the standard then we're going to have to make sure we meet the standards <laughs> so louisiana um what's that he's asking uh so Atkins is asking about confirmation where louisiana can Travel through with PCS. Um, it's one of the 39 states. It is. That's, yeah. It's cleared or not cleared? Yeah, so it's cleared. Yeah, so if it's right. traveled to go through Louisiana, go. don't go to New Orleans. It's yeah, well, yeah, there, right? yeah, yeah. You're supposed to go via uh, direct from here yeah. to there. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, right now, the goal is to get you out of this gate and get you into the next gate directly between points, and you're good. How much you take the last one, I'm curious what you say. Okay, um, so that's going to depend, right? So that's a great question. Mm -hmm. If an airman is under the weather on the date of their PT test, um, it's, it's really going to depend. So if the airman was already in the FIT program, they're going to stay in the FIT program. Um, if you were in a, you know, if you're in the maintenance program, you're just going to stay in the maintenance program. Mm -hmm. um, it should be in your, it should be in your best interest to take these appraisals because the intent is this is not supposed to be punitive. This is supposed to be your opportunity to certify up. Think of this as your chance every month to level up. If you are in FIP, I would be begging to get a test so I can get out of that. If you are in a, a standard where you got to test three or PT times three times a week, I would be wanting a test so I can get out of that and only do it once a week. So yeah, if you're under the weather, we're probably just going to freeze you where you're at. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You won't. You won't go up or down. But if you're always under the weather, then it's going to make me scratch my head and be like, okay, dude, let's fix this problem. Because, right. um, yep. yeah, that's just chronic. Let's not do that. Oh, dude, yeah. So a couple sources are reporting. So I appreciate this person, first of mm -hmm. all, paying attention to the news. A spike in COVID cases across Texas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is what's going on right now, right? So we've started to open. Texas has opened. Lots of interactions. Uh Oh man, somebody asked, asked a question, so it jumped and I. That's right, that's right there, sir. Yeah. My wife's probably telling me I need glasses right now. No. Um, yeah, so actually, that's an awesome question, right? So, uh, Tom Green County, right? Tom Green County is not bad. That's the, the barren, desolate yes. land around us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's not it's not bad because it's a lot of dirt, uh -oh. right? She's, she's a um, yeah. So, um, I think what we're going to be looking for here is we open up 
Same way we opened up with staff, right? So staff was really stuck within 50 nautical mi or 50 miles. Then we expanded to 300. When students, when we open up for students, it's probably going to be very limited to keep us within that safety bubble of Tom Green County because we know Tom Green County is, is actually a fairly safe bubble right now. Yeah. So that's a smart question and a smart, informed airman that, that, that's keeping track of what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's in line with how the decision making process is going. So thank you for the question. And, and that's really how it's going to roll. Two, two counties are this long. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah. So when we say appraisal, so basically what's going to happen is uh, towards the end of the month, everybody is going to take an appraisal. And based on those results, we'll then dictate which one of these three bins, bosses, briefs that you will find yourself in. So if you're on phase three or two now, you will be taking an appraisal that will then dictate whether you stay in phase three, move to phase three, or go down to phase one. So it will be across the board. Everybody is going to do one at the end of the month. And again, dudes, if we're doing this right, yeah. that appraisal or practice mock test or whatever, right? You're going to run a mile and a half, knock out a bunch of push-ups, knock out a bunch of sit-ups. It's going to be the easiest PT session of the month. Right. And you're going to be like, yeah, I'm so above this. Make a better test. Um, it, it's really not going to be that hard. Um, but I want you to understand that the focus is not on the test. Right. The test is going to validate the previous three weeks. Right. Just like, you know, when you, when you take a test, we don't, we never really concentrate on, on the outcome of that test. We concentrate on the outcome of learning prior to that test. Right. Same exact thing out on the track, right? We're going to be good. We're going to dominate this. You're going to move forward. We're not going to have to worry about anybody on fifth. Yes. I mean, I, I would ask for any of you that are in the hybrid class, the yeah. hybrid classes, we're taking the same exact approach to this. Yeah. We're going to give good airmen an opportunity to dominate and get good things. Too easy. I just arrived here. Where are these standards now? We'll push out tomorrow, sir. Yeah, so we'll push out the yeah. standard. So the standard, uh, for those who just arrived, the standard is the standard, right? It's the Air Force standard. Um, the second Air Force standard is the same standard they had at basic training. Uh, just the way that they've done this is that instead of making you get to the full thing at basic training, you have to get to 85% and then i got to get you up to 100% super easy it'll be hung up everywhere it's 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 not going to be hard so what's it going to affect well it's been in effect for a few weeks but yeah. we've been doing the practice parts right so um before we threw our tests on you we threw out some pt sessions right so the first group of the first opportunity uh to level up or, or get yourself where you need to be is going to start at the end of this month yeah. and then we're going to have a, for, a fip enforcement in early july yeah. uh, and i will lead the first fip session so I will be out there with you at 0500. My goal is to have none of you there with me in a few months. No, we're not going to war with so, Russia. Dude, I don't think we're going to war with Russia. There's, there, we can get into decision game theory, yeah. things like that, and I'll, I will nerd out for a few hours, but we're not going to do that. Uh, phasing is starting to come back. Okay, yeah. so phasing should be back. Yes. Uh, and I apologize if it is not, but we will have our phase in full effect by next week because right. um, phase has to come one of the things that has to happen is phase has to come back to the gate to open yeah right because there's privileges associated with phase that let you out that gate right i can't go to the boss and say hey man open, or sir of course open the gate i'm just gonna let everybody go right that does that violates all the rules right. so phase has to get tightened up and then we'll get you out uh and phase rules will be fairly standard they will be hung up everywhere yep. so yeah that that's it um but we're not going to make this painful, no. right? And I'd, I'd ask for those of you that have been here for a while to tell those that have just got here that's not, you know, we try to keep things cool in the squadron. It's not going to be the worst case. Don't imagine it's going to be awful. We'll make it easy. We'll give you an opportunity to get up uh, through those phases. Um, really, I'm excited to do this because we can go back to the, the, our plans before, right, before COVID screwed us, right. um, where it's a, where you earn phase by the things that you do. Exactly. So you all are doing amazing things. We'll validate those and we'll get you out of phase. I hope so. Yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, I, again, I would hope that nobody, I'm not telling you to go do this, but I hope that nobody's been brought down because they were wearing civilian clothes mm -hmm. outside of class. Right. But, yeah, I'm, uh, not, yeah, I'm not going to touch that one. Either, either. Yeah, understand that the installation commander, it's, it, it's, his, it's his role that, hey, during the duty hours, you know, uh, you know wear a uniform. Obviously, you know, there's different, hey, I'm, I work CQ, so I'm off on Monday and Tuesday, whatever. Obviously, cool, but that can be explained. 
but it, this is not a hey i'm done with class early i'm going to run off and go on my civvies and it's, and it's you know one o'clock in the afternoon probably don't want to run to the wing commander and, and now you're getting hemmed up with that kind of question so if you really want to be in your civvies that much you may want to be in your civvies in your room again you all grow yeah. men and women yeah. the thing that gets us on this is sunbathing out in front of 240 at two in the afternoon exactly. on a tuesday Good. That's a tough one for me to defend. Exactly. All right. These are real things. This is not like I we're mean, just making this stuff up. Yeah, this so is I, real stuff. So I, we can go with logical arguments and then the trump card of, well, they're sunbathing in front of 240 exactly. at 2 o'clock in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Oh, hey. it's like, I got nothing for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. It's, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you work with them and we can do good things. It's yeah. not bad. It's Cam Newton, I guess. I don't. Oh no, it's Trenice, right? Yeah. Uh, what, I, no, what, what, what language we need? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, do we get extra? Yes, yeah, so you get the standard Air Force. Well, here's the thing, because technically you don't. So once your profile expires, you're you're good to go. We're gonna have so, to consult yeah, with the yeah, medical yeah, community yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, but um, yeah. I I. I Totally understand the profiles. Um, yeah. Though oddly, in 26 years, I've never been on one. Um, I'm not on one. Uh, I think that we're going to be okay. Um, so, to be clear, if you're on a profile, you're not phased back. You're not being punished. Yeah, you're not being punished for being on a profile. Correct. Um, you're just not going to have the opportunity to level up. Correct. So if you if you are in phase two, you're just going to spin in phase two. Um, yeah, so again, I, I'm not trying. Yeah, we're, I think we're going to be good. Um, it, we're looking at this the wrong way. What I'd like to do in two months, be able to stand there and say, hey, we don't have a FIP program because we don't need a FIP program because everybody in the squadron is a baller. That, that's kind of the point on this. It's not to punish people because, God, I don't want to be there at 5 in the morning either. Yeah. No, yeah, the the uniform thing until 1630 will continue to be a thing no matter what okay. the phase program is. So, Aaron Augusto, last time I was a UFPM and a commander, um, I understood the rules also. So, if you, if you have a question, we can sit down and talk. Ooh, phasing oh. and marching. So, I hope not. Um, yeah, they have to. I, I can't guarantee you marching is not going to come back with phasing. Um, what I can guarantee you is that our squadron perspective on this is that we haven't marched and nobody's been late to class. So maybe we're okay. Um, even before, for those of you who've been here for a while, uh, there were days where we just didn't march. So uh, again, we're going to work work with us on this. I think that we're going to be okay. Yeah, so it's, it's one of those things, kind of like the uniform thing and, you know, drinking responsibly thing. If you guys are taking care of business and you don't want really to give anybody a reason to question or, or wonder, then yeah. But if all of a sudden, if the wing commander looks out his window and he see he sees a bunch of airmen be bopping around the, the you know troop walk and hands in pockets and not saluting you know staff cars or officers, you may say nope, put them back in formation. So do the right thing and don't ever expose yourself to that type of uh, that type of scrutiny. So yeah. As far as the bomber thing goes, just like Justin or Sergeant Gear said, um, yeah, that happens on a Tuesday. Yeah, um, they roll yeah. up, we roll up. Yeah. That that's every country does that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just yeah, proven that you can do it. Yeah, once you guys go operational, you'll see. Okay, yeah, this is literally is like you said, this is just Tuesday. Yeah. Cool. Um, any other whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> any other questions? Let's. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we have some Russian guests. So, uh... it's my... yeah. oh no, I, I, I got you, Aaron Augusta. I, I wasn't trying to flex. I apologize. Also, so it's all good. Um, we aren't going to be. We will get all that published as far as the PTL stuff. But where I don't want to lose the focus on here, right? We're not focused on passing the test. Right. We're focusing on dominating the test, not worrying about the test. Um, so we can get all in the details of, you know, I don't feel good that day, copy, got it, we'll worry about it next month. I have, a, I have an injury, yes, we're going to work with you, absolutely. Uh, but our objective of our PT program is to make sure PT is never a, program, a problem for you. Same way we want to teach you right in the classroom, we want to teach you right on the field, so you're good forever on that. 
So let's see. Oh. All right. Um, okay. So uh, I think we're probably going to have to shut down the questions here. Yep. Um, yep. yep. We will uh, work with our technical difficulties and figure out uh, what's going on there. And mm -hmm. uh, I guess I just want to end with that. Thank you guys all. Um, you've been uh, through three months. This has been better than we could have expected um, with some of the most professional airmen in the Air Force. So let's continue that. Let's get a good weekend, and then I hope next weekend that we're standing in front of you or sitting in front of you, um, talking about all the awesome opportunities that are going to happen that weekend. Yep. Um, so, so thank you. Stay safe, guys. See y'all.